right now. <laughs> <laughs> like, He's I pointing at the screen. They're like, Mom, I made it. I'm on TV. Check yeah, it out. Yeah, yeah. I'm in top eight. If I win, we're going to Disneyland. <laughs> we're in Anaheim. Oh, we're in Santa Ana. We're relatively close to Disneyland, so. If you're ever going to make it out Wednesday nights, and of course, coming into, uh, is this a quarter And he's got though? the Ella shake. There we go. Yep. So movement's on into this route versus Mr. Concon. And it's we did get that Isabel. Here we go. And very similar to the last matchup, we're gonna try to see. We're gonna see Isabel try to put a wall up, keep Luigi out, because Luigi gets in. You see Luigi, he's <laughs> chasing her right. right now. Right now, they've been stuck on this very strange interaction right now. But uh, Rue actually was able to beat a snake player uh -huh. as Isabel. That was a different thing I was trying to explain. But these Zeres that Luigi have, they can actually spell a problem. But the up tilt was in the wrong direction. Yeah, it could be a little bit of trouble getting Luigi off stage, you know, surprisingly. His recovery not as good as it used to be, He's able to really keep him out, especially a character like Isabel. Yeah, he's still got great vertical recovery. Yeah. His upbeat can go crazy high, and as well as look at these Zares coming in right now. Yeah, he's bowling not on the ledge. Yeah, these Zares are coming really big handy right now. The plunger, and he actually was able to get it, but it wasn't enough. Yeah, momentum carried uh, Rue back up to the stage. Very fortunate. It's very rare. You don't ever see the balloons, like double balloon pop, very often, surprisingly. Yeah, but the one time it happened, it just wasn't enough for Mr. Kong Kong to get the dash attack. Rue away. It's so strange seeing dash attack being such a good move for <laughs> Luigi. It's good. It's come a long way from the days when they forgot to put the hitboxes on it. Yeah, and here we go. Rue forced in these really bad situations, and he's got unplugged, and he gets the back part. That's Remember, two double balloon pops right there. Remember, <laughs> down smash it, it's stronger on the back hitbox. So able to take it. That tornado does 13%. My goodness. Yeah, very good textbook edge guarding play. Especially, and that was facilitated by the ledge trap. We saw that all day. Just Zare to Porter over and over and over. You cover all the options. Do your best. And good luck getting off the ledge in that situation. And you see the shift in momentum you saw earlier that it was actually Rue trying to chase down Mr. Kong, yeah. Kong because he knows he was at this advantage. Oh, uh, he trades with the Luigi missile. What's going to be the option? He got, good a fair, yeah, he got a fair knowing that he was going to go down. Might as well get something down in the first place. And a lot of that facilitated, like, I think Rue intentionally ate the Luigi missile, cutting off the recovery. And, yeah, know. really well played by him. It could have been, been a misfire, right? <laughs> yeah, it could have been. Yeah, Sometimes but, you gotta gamble and just, you know, hold your breath and hope the deck's not stacked. And also, Rue needs to be careful. He usually is comfortable getting those up tilt into up air confirms, mm -hmm. but Luigi Tornado breaks out of it. So okay. he needs to be really careful. It's not a true confirm. That's, what, that's what's really annoying about facing against Luigi. His Tornado demands so much respect. The combos that you think are true, didn't work against him. Right. And you see that a lot, you know, and sometimes people just kind of have a mental block against them. They just get hit by a Cyclone over and over and over again. They have no idea what to do. I know. It's, uh, it's, it's also funny to see that Twitch chat is easily saying, oh, you just made it out. And yeah. I'm like, I would like to see you in a tournament <laughs> set going against a Cyclone. And speaking of that, Yeet. <laughs> yeah, he sucks up the dog right. and just, kinda just throws it out. Call Peter on that one because Luigi <laughs> working on that one. But what's really good for Rue, He's not getting zero to death. Yeah, He's being avoiding. Really wary of it. Very good situation. We kind of figured that was going to happen just in the context of the way Isabel plays and the keeping out and playing the zoning game. Mm -hmm. You know, if they're gonna, like Mr. Concon was going was gonna to have to make a reader three in order to get the grab at that percent to make it happen. But great parry going in the F tilt as well. Oh my god, he's gonna use his fireballs to space it out. He knows if Isabel pocketed it, it's not that big of a deal. So he's not too worried about it at all. That back air actually misses 80%. Mr. Konkon is not afraid to go for these edge guards using the Zare. Barely misses out, but the jab surely catches it out. Yeah, that's trapping all day. There it is. Oh, uh, he picks up a little late on the jab. Oh my god. But still is able to pressure and get the up air off stage. So the Fireball actually going to hit him out. Great air dodge away, but Rue was quick to follow. They get tech chase options and going off oh, stage. Oh, great tech. tech with the old school, but just some savvy knowing that option is coming out. And speaking of baiting out the Cyclone, Rue baiting out the Cyclone. Yeah, but it just doesn't it. work out. Yeah, it, it does work it out, but gets the grab anyways. Needs some off into the sky. Yeah, that's the hard part. You hit, like, it, it clashes with the first hit, and then your move is done, but Cyclone keeps going. Yeah. <laughs> It's still going to be a problem right now, so he's going to for the Z-drops. And once again, Root is pinned to this corner. Right. You saw trying to pocket away, maybe, to pick up some of the invincibility. Open the back air is finally going to yeah. take it. Mr. Concon, he's choking out this Isabel. He's not giving any room, because you saw immediately at the beginning of the set, they were chasing each other right. around on that left platform. Root, get, move, move. Uh-oh. Production. <laughs> 
Uh, they moved. I, I think the feng shui of the building was not to Rue's liking. The move uh, the switch uh, just I a little bit. I understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, uh, I, like I felt a, some bad energy coming from the switch. Let me move it over. Yeah, no, no. So it's, uh, it's Animal Pocket. Pocket <laughs> Edition where you got to move all the furniture yeah. and make sure that they like but, it. Very apropos to the, uh, you know, to the canon of the game, if exactly. you will. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes that, like, horrendous sound when yeah. you pick it up. Oh, my God. But Rue... He, when he was able to wall him out, it was good, and he was able to get those edge guards. But right. it just Mr. Kong Kong was able to catch him. That is right. the problem. Yeah, it's gonna be. It's kind of a race. Who's gonna get who off stage first? Uh, because we saw, as you were mentioning, Iru was able to capitalize on Kong Kong off stage, but simul pick. but simultaneously Kong Kong was capitalizing on the ledge just all day. Yeah, if I saw another Zara to four yards, I'd be like, yo, yeah. <laughs> so what do you let him play. What do you think of this FD pick, though? Um, interesting. Like. No platforms to work off of. Yeah, no platforms to work off. But I don't know if the platforms overall had a huge impact on the last match because a lot of it was just, you know, head-to-head -head combat. Not a lot of platform retreating and, you know, tactically on that level because Wait. most of the game was won and lost on the sides. It also gives Ru, like, less room to run. And as soon as he's speaking that, he misses it. But no tech. Oh, reset. Oh, no. No, no, no. He knew that an up special would yeah. kill. So he went for the down special. A down, a down air, my goodness, what am I loving about? But 64%, that's still really good. Oh, he missed it. That could have been an uppie, and that would have killed. I, had a, I have some thoughts on that, uh, not going for the up special in that situation, but we'll cover that after the match, yeah, yeah. between no. match sets. But going through it right now, again, uh, Mr. Kong Kong firmly in control. But Rue, good job battling back from off stage. Oh my goodness, so great pairs. I, it's, it's starting to see that Mr. Kong Kong's getting a read on him with all these pairs coming in. Oh, get that, get that side special out yeah. of here, my guy. I think he's trying to go for a tornado. It really feels like it. Yeah, that was probably a tornado, but, you know, sometimes we're not used to throwing out an and option over and over again. He baited out the air dodge. Great job by Mr. Kong Kong. He saw that Rue DI too far away, and great Good tech, tech from Rue. He asked Mr. Kong Kong, thought he was off stage. Right. Sometimes you get a little confused in the scuffle, but you got to remember, there's no hitbox coming out from Miserable to make you be in that situation. You probably hit my friend. Yeah, he's going to go for that there once more. Mr. Kong Kong's stairs have been on point, and that tornado clips him out. And like you were saying, breaking out of from that up tilt, right on cue, Wolf, Wolfie the uh, the prophet, <laughs> the yeah, prophet from game one. Uh, it's me, it's me. Uh, <laughs> commentator's blessing, commentator's right. blessing. But as soon as I speak that, this tornado is actually being a bigger problem than I right. thought for Rue. And I think that, as I was mentioning, the difficulty might be that, you know, you can't, I don't know if Isabel really has a move that stuffs it out because you throw out like a four here, it yeah. clashes. It doesn't actually, you know, stop it. And sure, you can try to get a follow-up after that, but it seems that Rue is more focused on zoning away instead of baiting it out. Oh my god, that dare would have been huge, but he knew that he was going to go for the one-two punch, so he immediately buffered out a grab. And saw Kong Kong charging the Luigi missile very from the beginning. Oh, but that was an excellent ledge trap. You right. saw that the Lloyd was right there covering the roll. And Caught that Mr. Kong Kong trying to get away with it really early and punished for it with a forward tilt. You saw Mr. Kong Kong wanting to go for it, but that yeah. Lloyd was blocking the way. And right back off stage, here we go. Uh -huh. Kong Kong not playing the ledge game. He's, oh, what? What? Uh, uh, you, Hello. You, you get back down there. <laughs> uh, tech years, uh, I'm sure. Yeah, that was a super mind yeah. game coming out from Mr. Kong Kong. I mean, I like how people <laughs> got so excited about this plus one, but great empty hop into up smash. He knows that Rue's panic option is to go for a short hop air or a short hop bear, so he instantly caught it with the back hitbox of that up smash. So that's really big from yeah. Luigi. And right back into the neutral, but unfortunately for Rue, down by a full stock. Definitely not where you want to be, especially if you're the zoning character trying to play the pacing game. And also to make sure that your Tendo is safe, you can actually go off stage to make sure it's a little safer than usual. Some, some characters can follow you off, but not Isabel. Yeah, not Isabel. Especially with that recovery, no hitbox on it, free to do whatever you want. And it's right back to that ledge trap situation we were talking about. Yeah. It's interesting seeing Luigi be the ledge trapper <laughs> and not Isabel, but that Nair forcing him off stage. Here comes the Ferris. Exactly. He went for a hard read. Oh, oh no. no. He's going to be fine, though. Take two. Oh, yep. he's going to be fine. A lot of double balloon pops. Trying to go for the up smash. And here we go. Getting set up finally. Might be like one of the first times in the entire set. Great air dodge off, but this time Rue putting himself in the corner, knowing he's at a big disadvantage right now. The bear and the nair as well. Nowhere to go but off stage. And here Lloyd's we go, down. right back to it. Lloyd is down right now. He's trying to use that nair. He's catching him out. That, ah, it flanks actually, but the up smash. That's not safe, my guy. Yeah. Swift 2 0. Mr. Kong Kong firmly in control that whole entire match. And it's uh, five. I, oh, is it five? Yes. It's semis. Oh, is it semis? I thought it was quarters, though. Uh, no, we're in semis. Oh, hell yeah. All right, we got another one to play. Let's go, Rue. <laughs> right. I thought it was over. I'm like wrapping it up, but here we go. Yeah, his eyes wide open. Mr. Kong Kong took a nice drink. Trying to get inside right there. It just feels like Rue is unable to play the game that he wants to do. Yeah. That's the problem. 
And, you know, got to give credit to KonKon in that respect, you know, as a veteran. He's not letting him play. Yeah, he's not like, yeah it's, it's a give or take that zero sum. If you're not able to play the way you want to, it's probably because your opponent has something to say about it, right? And, and there's that, like on Q, up tilt, tornado out. <laughs> uh, he's going for the up tilt. At this point, Rune needs to start adapting. I know I made a meme about it earlier. You need to bait out these tornadoes. Right. They're, you know they're coming. He's got to figure out the answer to punish it. Like, baiting out is one thing. It's the punishment that's the other he side of it. He went for the hard read of that up beat. Mr. Konkon wants to end the stock fast. Yeah. Sometimes I don't know what goes through Mr. Konkon's brain, so we got, we got to talk about this later. He's going to, he's going to med school. We, yeah. can't, we can't do anything about him. He's on a different level that we don't yeah. even understand. And here comes the backer forcing him off stage. And what's the ledge trap? Oh. And, you know, I was saying Ruse did a better job getting off the ledge, but then gets up from that for yeah. it, so what do I know? It's just that Mr. Konkon's... <laughs> He's just following him so hard. Right. Rude's just being like followed the entire time. It's just not working out. Yeah, for him. it seems like Rude kind of wants to build a wall, but every time the foundation's you know laid out, the uh, the flood of Con Con just comes rolling through it's and not takes a flood, out everything. It's a vacuum. <laughs> it's literally just a vacuum coming. Yeah, right the tornado, now. if you will. It's the poltergeist. Tornado knocking out the foundation. Yeah, it's just the poltergeist coming in right now. And this time, Rude was too afraid of the one-two jab. Remember he went for the grab last mm -hmm. time? This time he actually rolled away. He was too afraid of what Con Con's gonna go out, and there he goes. The jab once more. Ooh. Use a pocket as a as an option. A little bit of invincibility, just try to break out of that situation. Not as good as the whistle, but every oh, go no. two stops already, Mr. Konkon. Yeah, as up smash sooner or later, just covering the landings. That's the first round I've seen. Yeah, it is, that's the first round I've seen too, so probably the first round of the set. Oh, oh. no, he didn't jump, Mr. Konkon. Or he might have been out of his jump without knowing it. He that's might have been hit out of it, I don't know. It doesn't matter though, Mr. Either Konkon. way, he's dead. Yeah. <laughs> and he's going after him. <laughs> uh, if he's able to recover on the other side, that's one of the strengths of his ball. Her recovery game is really good. Hey, look at these Zares. He's yeah. not letting him get back on the stage at all. Just the trajectory on it. Empty hop into the jab, covering all the options. Cyclone, no answers right now for Rue, unfortunately. And then Zare, so no grab just yet. He's able to get that jab, the one-two. He was actually going for the one-two combo, but this time he knew that Rue was expecting it, yeah. so he committed for the full one. He went for the dash attack as well. 87% missed for Kong Kong. Rue's got to dig deep and find some sort of answer. There we go. A little bit of a different option coming out that time. Uh, this is awful looking like old Geller. <laughs> oh, I can't go there. That's too early. Nah, oh, my you, God. You know, you know there that, might be children watching. It's not nah, after midnight. Nah, you know, uh, old Geller's coming in right now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah put an end. Uh, all right. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay, boy. It's okay, boy. It's, okay. it's, it's going to be yeah. fine. All you have to do is just stand still and let me tornado you. Watch this. Mission Kong Kong's going to end the stock with up smash. All right? Bet, I'm betting on it. All right, I feel it. Or he's going to go down <laughs> there off stage. I'll take that money on that bet. But yeah. Mr. Mr. Con Con Con, uh, really dominant fashion. Yeah. I was expecting this to be a little difficult for him, but. Really. Yeah, because as we were saying, you know. Uh, it's a projectile matchup. It's a projectile matchup, but he did not care about any projectile. He just went right through everything. Uh -huh. No problem. Mr. Con Con looking like the glory days of old on his phone, just living the life, making it happen. No, no. We're harassing you. <laughs> we're, we're telling the stream all about your uh, your legend. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so. Anyway. So, so yeah, because so in the situation, okay. So, he didn't, you know, I don't know if, uh, up special is definitely not guaranteed. However, if you have your opponent in a grounded situation and you can play the chase down, instead of taking the damage, it might be worth your while to try to make the roll read and then pick up the 